Welcome to the step-by-step -step guide to update the firmware of your ABB IP gateway. You'll need a computer with LAN or Wi-Fi connection, compression software, internet access, as well as a printer to successfully upgrade. We recommend Google Chrome or Windows Internet Explorer 11 as web browsers. Please note that the browsers Firefox and Safari are not compatible with the user interface of the IP gateway. Please have the access data for your My Buildings user account and for your IP gateway ready. You must now locate your IP gateway in the local network. In Windows Explorer select Network and then IP Gateway. Now your standard web browser opens with the login mask of the IP Gateway. If the IP Gateway is not displayed in your Explorer, this may be due to your router settings. You can also locate the Gateway via the device display of your router or, if you are familiar with it, enter the IP address of the Gateway directly into your browser. If you are not, please contact your IT support. Before you start the firmware update, you must save the configuration of your IP gateway, you can either write down the individual settings, enter it in an Excel sheet or save it with a screenshot. Make sure not to skip any settings and write everything down so that you can assign it to the right places after the update. Select the desired language and then log in to the IP gateway with the standard username, admin, and your password. First select the Network Configuration menu. If this is set to DHCP you do not have to write down any data, if it's a static IP set, please write down all the data carefully. Now select the menu Basic Settings. And write down the settings. Next choose Device Settings. The device type Story Call is always available and does not have to be noted. Please note carefully the settings of the device type outdoor station. Select, modify. You will now see the settings of the device. Now select the app management menu. Here you have to note the settings of every single device by clicking on, handle, and write down the displayed settings. Now select the date and time settings and write down the displayed data. Then you have to log out of the My Buildings account, you can do this in the login menu. You will find the button at the bottom right, sign out. You'll have to confirm the logout in the pop-up menu for security reasons, confirm the logout. Make sure that you have noted all the settings and now go to firmware update. Under choose file go to the location of the file and select it. Then click update to start the process. The update process can take about 10 minutes, please do not refresh the browser during this period. Possibly appearing time information or notifications are not relevant, ignore them. You may be automatically logged off. In any case, please wait at least 10 minutes before you take action. If the system has not logged you out, click the logout button in the top right, but at the earliest 10 minutes after the start of the update process. After the update, your IP gateway may have a new IP address, if so you have to locate it again on the local network, proceed as described at the beginning of this manual. Now select the desired language and log in, use the username admin with the password admin. Then you will be asked to assign a new password, follow the instructions. Now click on the version information menu at the bottom and check the firmware version. This should be ASM04 underscore GW underscore V6.06. Now you have to transfer the noted system settings into the system. Simply start again with the network configuration and transfer the data. Then save them by clicking the save button at the bottom right. Now select basic settings and transfer the data. Don't forget to save them by clicking save. In the device settings menu, you need to create the outdoor station by clicking on add device, enter the data you wrote down earlier and click save. If you have other devices, repeat this step until all devices have been entered. Now select the date and time settings, transfer the data and click save. 
Now go to the login menu item and log in with your My Buildings account. If there is already a friendly name filled in, please assign a new friendly name of your choice. Now go to the app management menu and at the same time open the welcome app on your smartphone. Open the settings menu with the arrow at the top left and select pair devices and then IP gateway touch panel. Now your IP gateway is displayed and you can pair it. Send the pairing request and make sure that the request has been sent. For the next step, write down the token ID shown. Now switch back to your browser with the IP gateway interface and click on update in the opened app management. Your smartphone is now displayed and by clicking handle you can display the settings and then transfer them from your notes. Don't forget to save them. You will now see an integrity code on your smartphone as an additional access control, enter it in the mask and click on confirm. Repeat these steps for every additional smartphone that is to be managed by the IP gateway. After a successful update, the entire welcome system has to be switched off and restarted after a few seconds to avoid malfunctions.